Hey everyone, welcome. We are going to look in this video at an initial public offering that is available for pre-order right now. So this IPO is available for pre-order. It is uh, going public on July 29th, so we still have time if anyone wants to pre-order this. In this video, we're going to look at the company, see what it is, look at financials if there are any, look at the underwriter. I'll give a valuation score at the end, which you should obviously is just for entertainment purposes. It's not a valuation score that's to be taken serious in any way, shape or form. And then I'll give my opinion on whether I would uh, take part in this as a pre-order or not. Because many of the IPOs that come out this year are just good for pre-orders. Nothing else. You don't buy them on the day they go public. That would be wrong because they tank, right? Um, only if it's a really serious. This is not one of those IPOs. This is one of those IPOs that would be considered as a pre-order, but we'll see. All right. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, before I continue... One of you uh, left a message in one of my other videos, uh, and uh, the message was, anyway, uh, you can do a video on my IPO. Just, uh, I, I wanted to show this just to give uh, a point uh, about something, and that is that I watch all your comments. I may miss out on commenting back sometimes because I don't do it on purpose. Uh, I just... Um, I miss, I just, I don't know, I don't see the comment or I just, but eventually I see every comment. I, 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 whether it's the same day or the next day, I read everybody's comments and I, I, I try my best to um, answer everybody's comments, right? Uh, so yes, Mercy, uh, A Mercy, yes, uh, uh, you asked for my IPO and here it is. It's uh, so, and I responded, but yeah, it's coming uh, next later. So that's that. But I like the fact that uh, the way this person put it anyway, <laughs> you can do a video on Maya because th they commented on another video. It's like, you know, yeah, the video, it's like they were saying like, you know, like, oh, yeah, that video that you just put out is great. You know, who cares? Can you just do the other one? <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. So thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, A Mercy, for leaving a comment. Thank you, everyone who comments all the time. Do leave comments. Leave your questions. Um, and uh, I will always read your comments. And even if it's not for me, leave your comments, leave your questions. That creates a conversation. Conversations can always lead to knowledge or getting to know each other out you know, more and, and so on and creating a community and I like that. So thank you very much everyone for leaving comment. Maya Biotechnology targets a $10 million IPO. That's it, $10 million IPO. So this is a very tiny IPO. Yet though, they can give you a lot of money if you play the you know bad IPOs, uh, these cheap IPOs, if you play them right by pre-ordering only and selling on day one, you can make a lot of money. Management is headed by co-founder and president and CEO Chairman Vlad Vidak, uh, who has been with the company since the beginning. He, was, he previously managed and supported over 20 early launch and mature stage compounds, which have included targeted therapies and immune therapies across more than 25 tumor types. So the company has a lead candidate. It's called Theo 101, and it's in phase two, or they're preparing to enter phase two. Its second candidate is Theo 102, which is in phase two and is planning to uh, for treating colorectal cancer. The company has booked an investment of nearly $41 million, which is not bad, as of March 31, 2022. Its investors include individuals like Frank Parabo and, and Jerry Shea. Now, before I continue, Mumu is the proud sponsor of this video, zero commission, commission free, for all the U.S. stocks, all the exchange traded funds, you also have full access to every single stock on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange or the Singapore Stock Exchange. If you want to, you don't need to. You can just stick with the U.S. Right? Uh, this is a company that is listed on the Nasdaq. This is they got all the licenses in the U.S. They've been around for a long time. They got 18 million traders. They offer live seminars very often, many seminars to teach traders how to become pros at trading whether it's options or stocks and so on. So they, they really care about their customers, let's say, about their traders who use their app. They really do. They have groups, thousands of groups that the traders create within the app. Their, each group is geared towards something. It's an amazing trading app. And if you use my link in the comment section below to sign up with my link in the comment, like I said, in the comment section below, you get 10 free stocks, which is awesome. And I think that's a great deal. Um, that should not be, I don't know, maybe you, you know, tell your friend, that's 10 free stocks. I mean, I think that's a great idea. All right. So Maya, this is the pipeline guys, Maya pipeline. Here's the, here's one thing you should look at. I don't know if you noticed it. If anybody noticed it already, I mean, the one is in phase two, the Theo one one is already in phase two. It's not, nothing is in phase three. So it's not like the super exciting thing or, you know, because if it's phase two, you know, it's going to take a long time, you know, another year, maybe two to go through phase three and all that stuff. So you get to have patience, right? 
But the thing that's very promising is look at that, Regeneron. Regeneron is a powerful company, one of the most powerful pharmaceutical companies out there in globally, right? And they have this, in Maya um, Biotechnology, uh, they have a, a deal with my uh, with Regeneron. All right, so the thing is that first of all, the company is intending to sell 1.6 million shares. 1.6 million shares, six bucks a share is what the pre-order is. So you can pre-order this right now for six dollars, and the company is offering 1.6 million shares. I think that's pretty low. Uh, I would have liked to see it four dollars a share, right? Um, so yeah, it would have been nice if it was four dollars. I would it would have been much easier for me to think about getting in. And as far as the Regeneron thing is, they are the lead candidate Theo 101 for treatment of non-small cell lung cancer. The company has a clinical supply agreement with Regeneron. So that's what they have, a clinical supply agreement. And the market opportunity for treating such, uh, you know, like small cell lung cancer, non-small cell lung cancer is very big, very big. So if they succeed, but I mean, for them to go through phase three and get FDA approval, we're talking about another two or three years. Now, they are going public through Think Equity. That's the underwriter. He, and I try to look at past of, you know, just to give you some recent Think Equity um, IPOs that they brought, Biopharma IPOs. They brought Hillstream Biopharma Incorporation, and that opened up a three something, went all the way up to four, and tanked, and that was it. So it really wasn't worth pre ordering at all in any way, shape, or form, right? Hillstream Biopharma did nothing, whether you had pre ordered or you had the opportunity. I don't know if you had the opportunity to, I don't remember. Uh, to pre-order or not, it was just nothing. It tanked and that was it. Uh, then they brought IMIX Biopharma Incorporated, another biopharma company. It, it, it touched slightly six bucks and that was it. So it wasn't worth even trying to, you know, put your money in even for a pre-order or anything like that. It's not worth risking it for one dollar a share gain, right? That Yeah, so that didn't do well. Then they brought Snow Lake Resources, and that opened up at 12, but I don't remember if Snow Lake Resources was available for pre-order. I really don't remember. Let me know, guys. Was, there, was it available for pre-order? I don't remember. Um, okay, and didn't do nothing. Tanked after that. TV Health, that opened up at 5-something, and just tanked right away, and that was it. So valuation score, 3 out of 5. Based on Think Equity and their past, I don't really expect much out of this IPO. It's also going public at 6 bucks a share, which I think is a bit too expensive. And you know what? Just based on this Think Equity underwriter, it's, I don't know. I mean, maybe this IPO will make the difference and be the one that actually pops and, you know, be uh, something different for Think Equity. But overall, based on Think Equity's history, I think I'm just going to stay out of this one. There will be plenty of other cheap pre-order IPOs I can get into. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comment section below what you think, and I wish you all the best. Take care.